fastest car on stage 1B was the Audi RSQ e-tron of Carlos Sainz. El Matador and his teammates aren't part of the official FIA standings, but they're off to a flying start. Matthias Ekstrom and Stefan Petterhansel were also among the top seven. We have a clean day, which is the most important thing with this new car. Proper stage, really difficult stage, everything in the stage, and yeah, happy with everything. It was set to be a rather thornier day for the world championship contenders, none more so than Sebastian Loeb. The Frenchman had to change a broken wishbone after just 20 kilometers and went on to suffer two punctures. His misfortunes added up to over 20 minutes lost. We lost for sure a lot of time on, on this, this thing. Uh, then we had uh, another puncture and then uh, another puncture at the end uh, we finished without changing the wheel, but we lost, I think, more time than if we changed. So it's not the way we like to start the rallies uh, because we are already far behind now. And uh, so it may be complicated for the rest of the, of the rally. Gerland Shishery has endured some frustrating years in Rally Raid, but having joined forces with BRX, he is determined to live up to his ambitions in the Pro Drive Hunter. The Frenchman opened for 200k today and also suffered two punctures, but he still managed to come fourth. Jakub Brzezonski has a new wingman, Spanish biker turned co driver Armand Monleon, who described it as an old friendship but a new partnership. The pole admitted it's hard for his mini buggy to keep up with the four wheel drive cars since the new T1 Plus rules were introduced, but they had a clean run today, coming third. Even the masters of Morocco, Nasser al and Mathieu Bermel had a tough time out there. The Qatari and the Frenchman also had two punctures and some trouble opening the rim at one point. Despite leading for most of the stage, they had to settle for second place, slipping to second overall. But the man making the biggest splash was Yazid al Raji. The Saudi did suffer one puncture, but he really pushed over the final 80 kilometers. He was almost three minutes down on Alatira at one point, and he finished three minutes ahead of him to claim victory in the FIA class. Now he'll be thinking about closing the gap to Loeb in the World Championship standings. Uh, sure, it's a tough day for everybody. Not easy also navigation and stony. We have one puncher and in the end, we attack in the last uh, 80k and tomorrow open and sure is uh, difficult, but we try our best also tomorrow to keep the lead. Oli Terranova also had a few problems on a tough day all round, but he brought his pro drive hunter home inside the top five. 